Hey everyone, so I'm actually finally getting around to doing another tag video. I genuinely can't remember the last time I did a tag. Um, and I've seen this tag done by like all my favourite channels. And then I finally saw Sue do it and I thought I really have to get and do this tag. So I'm doing the 7 Deadly Sins of Reading tag that was started by the bookish Melisa. Um, and she adapted it from a beauty tag. So, okay, I have all the questions written down so that I don't forget the order or anything. Um, the first sin is greed. And what is your most expensive book? And what is your most inexpensive book? Um, my most inexpensive, if we're not counting cheap ebooks and free ebooks, because I have too many of them on my Kindle to really name, but actual physical book would probably be um, Jules Verne. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Um, I picked this up for 50p. Um, so, yep. Yeah. And my most expensive book. Um, I have quite a few books on my shelf that are worth, you know, um, I don't know, £15 or £20, but I never pay that much for them, so I didn't think I could really um, count those because I didn't pay that much for them. So, I picked one where I actually paid full price for it, um, and that is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Um, I paid full price for this at £13 because uh, Amazon didn't have it when it came out and so I had to get it from the book depository that didn't knock any money off of it so I paid full price for this one um, which I don't do very often. Okay the second sin is Wrath and it's which author do you have a love-hate relationship with and I chose Julie Kagawa because her uh, Faye series, oh my god, irritated the hell out of me. Um, I found them sometimes quite draggy and um, boring. Um, I hated our protagonist Megan. Oh my god, but you've heard me go on about that all the time. But then I recently read The Immortal Rules and I thought it was amazing. I loved that book. So one series of hers I hated, the other I... I really got into book one, so I chose Judy Gregor for that one. Uh, the third sin is gluttony. And what book have you deliciously devoured over and over with no remorse whatsoever? Um, at first, I thought this was a hard question because I hardly ever reread books. Um, I seem to have quite a good memory for books. I can remember sometimes whole paragraphs, chapters, character names, places, all that kind of thing. So I don't find the need to reread them very often. But then I got to thinking, I thought, actually, there's quite a few books that I've reread loads and loads of times. So I have um, four books, and these are probably the most reread books in my in my whole collection. Um, I couldn't choose between them, so I do have four. Um, and the first one is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. Um, I read this when I was when I was twelve, maybe for the first time, and I loved it. Um, I do have the the movie cover. Um, the movie sucks, by the way. Read the book. If you read the book, you'll love it. Trust me. Um, Cinderella retelling devoured it. I don't know twenty times, maybe, maybe more. Um, I just can't get enough of it. I truly, truly love this book. Um, it just doesn't get old. And then uh, Meg Cabot's Boy Meets Girl. This was the first um, of her adult books that I ever read. And I just thought it was amazing. And <laughs> you can tell with the spines. Um, oh no, you can't because it's horrible lighting. Uh, there we go. You might not be able to see with that one because it's white. Um, and as you guys know, I hate um, my books to be in bad condition and I hate cracked spines. But with this one, I've just reread it so many times that I just don't even care. Um, and it's told in like email format and um, receipts and stuff. And it just never fails to make me laugh. Meg Cabot is one of my favourite authors ever. But this is definitely one of my favourites of hers. It's just, it's just funny. Um, and you you also know that I'm not a big Chitlip fan, but this truly converted me. Loved it. Then I have J.R. Ward's Dark Lover. Um, my favourite of the series. There's ten books now, but this remains my favourite and my most reread. I've reread this one about 
10 15 times and this one boy meets girl i forgot to say i've probably read that about the same 10 15 times um i love this um beth and raf's romance i i find it really cute and i just love it um i've also like bought um the kindle copy of this as well so that i don't have to wreck my book anymore um and then this uh is the most recent of the books that i've reread and that is heart on a chain by cindy c bennett um love this book i'm i currently read it um I reread it the other day. Um, I first read it back in January, and I'm, I've reread it about three times since. It's really quick. I will reread it in like a day. Love it. It's really sweet. And if you never take on board another recommendation from me, I would say give this one a try because I just fell in love with this book so bad. Love it. Um, and the fourth sin, now that we've got through all my rereads, um, is Sloth. Uh, what book have you neglected reading due to laziness? And my read is the same as many people have chosen in this tag. And that is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. It's... At first I was intimidated by it because, I mean, it is huge. And then I started to read it in March. Um... And that's about three weeks worth of reading there. I only got to like page 150 and I thought this is putting me seriously behind on other books that I have to get read. And so I put it down and I just haven't been bothered to pick it up since because as much as I have liked what I've read so far, it's it takes me a long time to read. I find it so dense and I can be reading for hours and not get very far and I'm just like, oh, I need to read something else. So I feel really bad, but that's the book that I chose. But I also have a second book that I've neglected due to laziness. One that I really, really want to read, but I've heard that it's so description rich um, that you really have to take your time and absorb it. And with college and um, other books I need to get read, I haven't had the luxury of being able to really be able to afford to sit and just read something that's really description rich that could take me forever <laughs> and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, I do desperately want to read it, it's a, it's a beautiful looking book and I've heard the plot is um, amazing and I can't wait to read it but I just haven't had the time to put towards such description rich text um, but I do hope to get to it kind of soon actually. Okay. Question uh, Sin 5 even is Pride. What book do you most talk about in order to sound like a very intellectual reader? Um, I don't think that I do this. Um, I don't really care if people think I'm an intelligent reader or not. I, I couldn't care less as long as I enjoy reading. I don't care. But um, I tried to think of it from um, the other people's point of view like maybe I'm talking and I sound pretentious like I'm trying to sound intelligent I mean I don't think I do it but I, I try to think if there was a book that I tried to talk about a lot um I mean in English of course we have to study text and teacher obviously asks us questions um and I seem to be okay at answering questions on hard times by Charles Dickens which is the text that my exam is on um and then Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I reread that a lot of times, and that's my um, choice of partner text to go into my exam with. So I obviously have to know a lot about that text. Um, and I've reread. I've just read quite a few classics, you know. And I don't think I brag about them, but obviously not everybody likes classics. Um, obviously I read all of Aust Jane Austen, um, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. Um, I also think that I tried to sound intelligent maybe about John Green's The Fault in Our Stars because that book just moved me so much and it's not like I'm trying to sound intelligent it's just that I'm trying to convey how much I love that book so I don't think I do it purposely but maybe it can be misconstrued that that's what I'm trying to do but I thought that was a mean question <laughs> um, Sin 6 is Lust what attributes do you find most attractive in male or female characters? Um, I like my female characters to be to be kick ass. Um, obviously, the dystopian females. Um, I'm not such a huge fan of Katniss as some people are. I I found it very difficult to like her in the first two books. I haven't read book three yet, by the way. Um, but I do love Triss from Divergent. I do think she's probably the best female character. Um, 
yeah I do like that uh, I also like the ones that can make you laugh um, and intelligent I don't like the Barbie type um, female lead I just don't like them at all and male characters um, I like them sarcastic and witty and intelligent um, I'm not so keen on the manhole character but Noah Shaw from The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, he, he is described as a manhole but he is darkly funny at the same time and I, I did like him uh, so I'm looking forward to book two to see his character develop and is he really the manhole that everyone paints him to be because um, I really hope not. Um, who else? Oh Alex from Angel by L.A. Weatherly, he is He's quite kick-ass himself, but he's he's quite sweet as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do I do like him. Um, and sin number seven, envy. What books would you like to receive as a gift? Um, any one of my friends will tell you that the best present anyone can ever buy me or give to me is a book. So any book from my wish list was like the perfect present for me, but. Um, ones that I'm unlikely to buy myself at any point are the Harry Potter books because um, I tried to read them once when I was young and I didn't get into them and so I got rid of my copies um, so I don't think that I'm kind of wary in picking them up again but I would like to give them a try so if someone bought me the books I would read them but I don't think I would buy them myself um, but also I would like to have Gina Showalter's Lord of the Underworld series because I think we're in like nine books now and I haven't got any of them so if someone wanted to buy me Gina Showalter books I would love to have the whole set of them but otherwise I'm not really fussed like any, anyone that buys me a book you know any book love they'll do <laughs> any book that I want is the perfect gift um so yeah this was the seven deadly sins uh, reading tag um I hope to do some more tags actually because I haven't done them for so long, I've got out of practice. Um, so thanks for watching and I shall see you guys soon. Happy reading!